discussion uh, with Nagaland Football Association and also parent body Nagaland Olympic Association, EFA would like to bring their technical expertise so that best available coaches in the country should visit here in Nagaland, in Kohima. I am told that no other Indian Football Federation office bearers or the president has visited Nagaland in its 85 years of history. So I am very uh, glad and honored that myself and the treasurer of All India Football Federation, the, this is our first official visit here and we can bring more technical expertise to Nagaland and create a football ambience here. More education for coaches, more education for referees, more <coughs> quality football grounds like I have seen here. Maybe this is one or two, it can be uh, 3x, it can be 4x, it can be 5x. So more football grounds. So create more infrastructure, create more educational opportunity. And that's how with, I think with a three years timeline, we can set a target and thereafter we can set our next target. Um, as I said, I'm so honored uh, to be here in, in Kohima, Nagaland. I am so thankful to Honorable Chief Minister that I can see the positivity here in, in sports. My, on my left, you can see that I'm here tra visiting with Treasurer of All India Football Federation. It's a joint visit. Navy Sikhose has invited me on behalf of Nagaland Football Association and jointly with Nagaland Olympic Association. Mr. Abu Mehta, Secretary General. After having several uh, discussions, today this is my second program, I can sense that this state has a lot of potential and I, as a President of All India Football Federation, would like to see Nagaland uh, boys and girls to play football in highest level. Now when we say to play football in highest level, how do you want to take it forward? So definitely you need to create infrastructure and opportunity. We, we can also say, you know, that it's two children, they born at the same time on different country and one become successful on, on something, some particular thing and the other cannot reach here. It is only because the, the successful individual got that opportunity, got that system and got that infrastructure. It is everywhere. In, in engineering college, medical college, chartered accountancy, sports, law, everywhere. You need to create infrastructure and opportunity. Talent is there, the potential is there. Similarly, I think that Nagaland has the equal talent and potential like other football playing state in India, or I would say some, some of the international uh, country. Say similar body structure, if you say Japan, China, South Korea, if you see with a Naga boys, with a South Korean boys, you will not find much different in terms of body weight and body height. But if you put him on, on football ground, you might find the South Korean boy is uh, superior in technical ability than the Naga boys. So that means we are lacking producing opportunity to these children at the right age. So I'm here to create opportunity and create infrastructure and create a systematic football uh, for the boys and girls. In, in Nagaland. Therefore, I am scheduled to meeting uh, Honorable Chief Minister tomorrow at his residence and I'll definitely speak on the coaches' education. I'll definitely speak on the quality refereeing education. I was there today uh, for FIFA football for school launch in Indira Gandhi Stadium. I saw it, the beautiful turf, beautiful astro turf is there. It is, you feel motivated, you feel energetic to play good football, you feel motivated to run more, play more. But what you are lacking, perhaps you are lacking how to run, how to pass, what to play, how to play. Maybe you are lacking of national or international level of coaches. If you, if you want to play, to officiate that game, maybe you need a referee who can officiate correctly. You know, so that's the reason I will ask Honorable Chief Minister to, to create a scholarship program or maybe something or the other, All India Football Federation will support 
and assure that at least in three years time 16 district of Nagaland can get 16 a licensed football coach so this state must not have dearth of quality coaches the quality coaches can train young talent and they can help uh, to build national level players this is i think my proposal on my first visit to Nagaland in the World Cup, with the World Cup fever on. So how do you plan to or strategize to bring about World Cup players in the country as you have just taken over as the AIFF president? See, it is, uh, we are, you must have seen that uh, I have traveling across the country. There are uh, several states I have visited that no other uh, AIFF president has visited before. I visited to Tripura, I visited to Arunachal, I am here today in Nagaland, day after I will be in Mizoram. So these are the areas where, where uh, none of the EIFM officials, forget about president, has visited before. So now if you see that how Indian national team used to be built, it is uh, by three or four states contribution only. There are total pool of 70 or 50, 80 or 100 players all together and there you get your national team where you have 26 associations, state and UTs. So the, the, their uh, uh, collective uh, contribution has not been utilized properly. So maybe uh, with a time, Arunachal can produce a uh, national player, Nagaland can produce national player, Tripura can produce national player. Subject to, you have to go there and you have to create a football uh, ambience, infrastructure opportunity, because anywhere I've been traveling, Everywhere people are saying, sir, football is most uh, played sports here. Sir, we, we want to play football here. Sir, create a uh, league here or competition here. I've been traveling to Boroland, Kokraja, in Assam, such an autonomous council. I've been traveling to uh, uh, Odisha, Angul, uh, far uh, west of Odisha. Football is popular there. And these are the areas where you need to you know, find talent and create opportunity. So I think once we are sure about this, India is, is the fifth largest economy in the world today. So we have to get the proper utilization of the potential and we are working on it and we also come, come with a policy and strategy, uh, roadmap that how India can play World Cup. Yes, it is not that we can announce in a press conference that so and so dead India will be playing World Cup. <laughs> But definitely India should play and must play this all, every Indian wants it, it to happen. So I feel, you know, that since uh, from next World Cup onwards, the number of teams are also being, you know, uh, extending from 32 to 48. And I'm sure by then Indian economy and Indian, uh, you know, the way our Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, that in uh, his presence are being felt across uh, the world now. So definitely with his vision and leadership, sports is doing well and football will also do well and do their best uh, to get into World Cup. So for the first time, EFF has received a state development plan from every respective state uh, football association. And with all those uh, suggestions from respective state association, EFF will announce uh, its uh, national roadmap uh, sometimes in December, sometimes in this month only. On 12th of this month, 100 days will be completed, coming our uh, as, a, as a body. But due to this World Cup, we might, you know, take 7 or 10 days extra. Thereafter, we come up with our roadmap and we share it with everyone. Yeah, thank you very much.